Devin Butler knows just what he wants to be. Free dirtbag. Butler thinks he's a real cop. Put me down. I meant it in the nicest way. Too bad. Devin, you got to stop playing stupid cop games. But when you're a cop, people don't sass you. But now... Young Devin here witnessed a crime earlier this evening. You need me to testify and identify, right? I don't think I like that question. Why? I like to cut a deal. What? He wants to be a cop. Why do you want to be a cop? Look at this guy. Bad back, bad marriage, bad attitude. Oh, I'm sorry. I broke the nose. I think I can fix it. He's seen a lot of action. But he's seen a lot of TV. Haven't you heard about secondary smoke? My still forming lungs may be shriveling into green chunks of mucus. I want you to drive him around for eight hours. I can't. I don't get along with kids. I don't, I don't like them. They don't like me. I have nothing Nobody to cares. go. I can't have any fun with a kid. You take a kid to a bar. He has one drink. He falls off the stool. What? You don't have to get up to impress me. <laughs> Where his fantasy ended. My grandson has seen all I want him to see a police no, no. Their real adventure began. Put the pedal to the metal burn rope. Let's go kick some. Oh. I need a diversion. He was a bad boy, boss. He called me Piggy. They're two cops learning to meet each other halfway. That was just like Miami Vice. Burt Reynolds. And introducing Norman Golden II, cop and a half. What are you? I'm your worst nightmare, an eight-year-old with a bag.